Hi there, Rachel Jane Groover here and you're watching Awaken TV and we are down under this week. We'll be here for quite a few weeks doing nine events. If you know anyone in Melbourne, Sydney or the Sunshine Coast, forward on this video. But today I wanted to point to a part of your mind that takes you out of the present moment and out of your power a lot and that is the critical mind. What is the reason, the main reason, or the main function of your critical mind. Well, it's there to take you out when you feel some sort of discomfort, when you feel some sort of thing that you don't want to feel, instead of sitting with it and being present with it. The critical mind comes in and takes you out and starts to project. So think about who have you been critical about the last few days? What have you been critical about the last few days? Don't think yourself, that might be going on a lot, but I want you to think outside, something that you project on another person. Maybe you love them a lot, but you've had this sort of, they shouldn't be like this, they shouldn't have done this, they shouldn't have said this. That is just wrong. Anything that sounds familiar to that, because the critical mind is only hurting you. And if you are really serious about burning away the mental and emotional patterns and habits that keep you in sadness, grief, shame, um, not feeling good, angry, you've got to be able to stay with the present moment and feel what is there for you. So you may be put in a situation, you feel the discomfort, but if you can't sit with it and not move, not do anything to try to get it to go away, if you can't do that, often the critical mind will come in as the mechanism to take you away from your own feeling and sensation and presence into why someone else has made you feel that or someone else has done the wrong thing. We have to be able to sit and not run. We have to be able to feel our experience in the moment. Because if we don't, that's what creates resistance. I'm not saying sit with it for 10 days and swarm in it and get drown in it. I'm just saying feel it in the moment. If you don't, it creates resistance in your field and you will recreate it again and again and again. So this week, watch how your critical mind comes up, takes over the present moment, and takes you forward into something that helps you get out of the discomfort, at least for the moment, but it's gonna come back, at least for the moment. And how can you pay more attention to that? And when it wants to take you out, you come back in and you go, it's not about any other environment, any other thing that someone says. It's about, I am feeling this way and I'm not going to run. So there's your challenge, your loving challenge for this week. Watch the critical mind. If you've got any questions or comments, go ahead and post under this video. I would love to hear from you. And to remember, if you know anyone who is in Australia who would really get a lot out of being with us for a few days or an evening at least, we are all over the place and would love to meet you or someone else who's on a path of committed spiritual realization, awakening, raising the consciousness of the planet, doing amazing work for this world, anything like that, they're going to love what we're up to. So thanks everyone for watching Awaken TV. We'll see you next week. Take care everyone. Watch that critical mind. Bye.